Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got a Georgia Asda haul with a try on. So let's get cracking. Hiya, so I went to Georgia Asda. There's a big one near to where I live, and I were in there the other day. And I had a look around the home section and got some stuff from there, which I've already done in a haul. And then I went and had a look around the clothing because I'm trying out different clothing sections in supermarkets. So it started because I went to Sainsbury's and I got some really nice things from Sainsbury's. And I thought, well, look, if Sainsbury's is good, I might try the other ones. It's not somewhere that I used to shop really. But now as I get older and... You know, I'm not bothered about it being the height, height of fashion. I thought, I'll give it a go. I've picked up odd bits from there before, but never sort of a big collection of things. So I'll show you what I got anyway. Now, normally I get... Oh, let me put my gigs on, for goodness sake, Kim. Right, normally I get the jeggings from George. And they've got like a broad bit of elastic around the top and they just look like jeans. Sometimes I struggle to get them in my size in store because I think they're quite popular, to be honest. So I thought I'd try some of the jeans because I do like those jeggings. So the first pair I got are these uh, mid-rise. You see, I didn't read that. Mid-rise straight and they're, they were £10. I bought them in a size 14. Just better tell you, I'm 5 foot 8 and at the moment I'm a size 14. So I bought these. So they've got a pretty straight leg. If that were what drew me to them, I thought I'd try something with a bit different leg. They have got a button and a zip at the front, but I didn't realise they were mid-rise. I thought they looked quite high-rise. Problem is, because I carry all my weight around my middle, a mid-rise sometimes draws a line under it and draws attention to it that I don't really want, when I really don't want it drawing attention to. But I'll give them a go anyway. I love the dark blue colour. So I'll try those. And then I also bought a different pair of jeans that I never wear either. This is a style that I don't normally go for. So it's a mom jean and it's a high rise. Bought these in a 14 as well. Now, it, they've got all rips down the front. Like I say, I don't really wear mom jeans. They've got a bit of ripped bit on pocket at back. The proper jeans and uh, yeah, they just looked quite nice. They've got some stretch to them, which is good because I need the stretch. Because my weight's around my middle, it's better for me to get ones that have got some stretching so that, because otherwise I end up having to buy such a big size that it's hanging on my hips because my hips are narrow, but my waist is really big. So, um, and that's only got worse as I've got older. So anyway, I thought I'd give those a go. They don't look super long in the leg, but I wouldn't mind wearing those as like ankle grazers. Like I say, they've got rips on both on both legs, one's higher up than other. But I thought I'd give them a go, you know. What have I got to lose, really? They were £18, like I say, and I bought them in a size 14. So I'm hoping they look nice. Then I bought a whole collection of tops. So I bought this t shirty one, just because I like the style of it. I bought this in a 14, it was £6. They had this in all different designs, but I quite like this one with this pattern on it. Now, it's a peachy colour. Normally, I won't go for that colour because it's a bit too much like the skin tone. And from a distance, that makes me look like I'm not wearing out. But I thought because it had this black pattern on it, that it might you'd be able to tell I were actually wearing something, you know. So, went for that one. It's got some, it's a long t-shirt and it's got elastic round the bottom and just this pretend tie detail here. And it's got a fitted in sleeve, which I much prefer to just a shaped sleeve and a low round neck. So I'm hoping that looks all right on me. Then I got this camisole top. Now I didn't buy it to wear on its own. I bought it to wear underneath a blazer. So it's just this really pretty sort of dusky blue color. I bought this in a size 14 and it was seven. No, I didn't. I bought it in a size 12, I'm fibbing. And it, were, it was seven pounds, but I quite liked it. You know, it's got a little frill on the bottom. I don't mind a little bit of detail that's on the, as long as it's on the front, because anything that's just on the back gets covered up by a blazer. But I thought I'd try that. It's got adjustable straps, which is really helpful. And I thought it were a really good price. Just got a little spot all over it. And it's in quite sort of thin material. 
like a proper camisole top. But I'm hoping that's going to look all right with a pair of jeans or jeggings and a blazer over the top. So I love this style. You know, I do love a camisole top. Then I bought this one. I'm not so hopeful for this one. I'm not going to lie about it. I loved it, but I'm just not sure that it's me. I bought it in a, a size 14. It was £12.50. It's got like a, a yoke on it with a little frill round it. Quite big frilly sleeves, but then it's got this fitted in bit, so it's not quite so gaping. And it's slightly gathered on at the front, but not massively so. So it's not like a big flouncy smock top. So, yeah, and at the back, it's also got a yoke and a bit of frill. It's in this really pretty pink colour and the material's got like a stripe detail. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Well, there, that's a bit easier to see, isn't it? So, I'm going to try it. I thought it'd be nice, if it works out for me, it'd be a nice cottony top, you know, to wear in the summer. So, liking that one. Then, because I do like camisole, I got this one. It's all broad triangle across the front and helpfully it's got a V-neck, a light V-necks. It's just, it goes out slightly at the bottom, but it's not gathered at all. It is just shaped going outwards. It's more cottony at the front and more sort of T-shirty fabric at the back. Bought this in a 12 and this were £10. But again, I would wear something like a blazer over the top of that. So I quite like that one. Thought that might work out for me, you know. Then I bought this blue t-shirt with a puff sleeve. Now I've had something very similar to this in the past. I got it from Tesco, but it was just too small for me. So I thought I'd give this one a go. I bought this in a size 14 and it was £12.50. Now it's just t-shirting material at the front and the back, all the way down. Slightly goes out at the bottom. And then it's got cottony material sleeves. But on the inside, they're lined with this like beige cream colour material, which is a bit more silky. So, yeah, it's quite high on the neck, I think. Uh, and the sleeves are quite puffy. Like I say, right, I've tried something similar to this and it was just too small for me. So I'm hoping that this, because it's a bigger size, might look all right on me. But I'm not sure. It may not. It may look pants on me. <laughs> oh, I'm taking that risk with everything. Then I bought this black top. Now, black, I know it's, it's quite dark on me, but I, I wanted to give it a go anyway. I bought this in a size 12 and it was £10. It's like a silky material and it just goes straight down the front and the back. It's got a V-neck and then it's got this frill detail, but it is a shaped sleeve rather than a fitted in sleeve. Sometimes these make me look a bit droopy shouldered, but for a tenner, I thought I were giving it a go. It, the sleeves are very pretty, this bit. It's very pretty. If it works out for me, I'd be really pleased about it. But yeah, I got that one. And then last up, I bought this because it were in sale. But now I'm looking at it, it's actually a maternity top, right? <laughs> But I just really liked it. It goes out, obviously, to go around her, her tummy. But I have got a tummy, you know. There's no baby in there. It's just what's left after having children. But I, I just quite liked it. We're only £4, this. So it's got a fitted in sleeve. It's in this lovely blue colour. And I love the lace collar on it as well. So despite the fact it's a maternity top, I'm still giving it a go. And if it works out for me, I'll keep it as well. And I won't care that it's a maternity top. You know, I've got past the point now where I care. Who's looking at my labels, you know? Nobody, just me. So I'm not bothered if it looks like, if it's a maternity top. Nobody else is probably going to know that. Although I am broadcasting it over YouTube, you know. So if you know me, you can point at me in the street and say she's wearing a maternity top. I ain't bothered. <laughs> so anyway, I'll insert the try-ons now. Okay, so these are the first jeans. I don't mind them. They're sort of pulling across here a bit. Um, but I don't know what you guys think. They're not very long on me. So they're more ankle grazers. Uh, I'm not sure if what they're doing is making what is my slimmest bit look wider than it normally does or what. But, uh, you know, I, I'll really need some advice on these because I have no clue. 
what these look like on me. They don't feel nice on me, put it that way. And then this is the top, which I am super happy I managed to get. And I, like I say, I didn't know that it were a maternity top, but I'm actually not fussed. It's not so big on me. I mean, you've got plenty of room, so if you were pregnant, you know what I mean, it would fit. But it's got, I, I just really like it. I love this detail on it. I like the sleeves. I like that it's got a load of fabric round here because it's less clingy around my problem area. I'm not bothered about it. You know, I quite like this. I don't think this is bad at all. I think if anything's going to look all right with these out of what I've bought, it'll probably be this. Just because it's hiding sort of what's going on around here a bit as well. Which I'm not overly keen on. So that's the first things but i do love this top so nice about i'm happy about that okay so right first i'll address the jeans these are just too low rise for me uh, which is a shame because i actually quite like the leg you know i don't mind this slightly straighter leg but I, it is completely underneath what is my problem area here so I, I don't think these jeans are for me at all. The top, this top is okay if it wasn't for the fact that I've got like a bulge sticking out here where, my, where these jeans are underneath that. So I actually don't mind the top and I could see me wearing this top with a blazer over it. Um, and a pair of high rise jeans i thought these were high rise but clearly they're not these are mid rise they're definitely mid rise these um but i quite like this top i don't mind this at all it's not bad you know not a bad top at all i think quite nice quite like it you know if i didn't have this thing here going on you know <laughs> oh. I'll show you the back. So yeah, happy with the top, just not with the jeans. Might put a pair of jeggings on, just so I could try the rest on. This top, um, I think this is a no from me. It's making me look even more round-shouldered than I already am. I think, uh, yeah, just... I mean, let me know what you think, but I honestly can't see me wearing this I really feel like oh you know like my shoulders have completely taken a dive and because all the details are on the sleeve it's not a top I'd really want to be wearing sort of things over the top you know so I fear this is a no <laughs> but you gotta try these things haven't you to know so or i certainly do because i'm pants at choosing them off the hanger so anyway sadly no to the top with the droopy shoulders on me <laughs> oh dear and if that one bad enough this right oh dear i imagine this would be quite cute on on a young girl you know if somebody young and um we just don't do with that a bit because that's like choking me. I, uh, look at that. What's happening? Show you the back. This is an out and out no from me. Oh dear. You know, the, honestly, this is so bad. This is just not my style at all. It feels like a nighty top. Imagine it with a little pair of shorts, you know, for going to bed. So that's a no. Now this one, pardon for the black bra, which is not doing anything. I don't mind, and I'll tell you why I don't mind it. I know it's showing this and it's emphasized because I'm still wearing these mid-rise jeans, but I'm gonna put a blazer on over the top and I'll show you what I mean. So with a nude bra, because the detailing is around the front, I'd probably wear this like this with, me, with a blazer over the top even a patterned blazer or another color blazer i would even wear it with because i just quite like this little bit of detail in there's enough fabric here that it's not going to cling to me and with a right fitting pair of jeans and a nude bra 
I think it might be all right, this. It's just got enough detailing for the summer without it being too much, you know. I like the low neck on it as well. I find that a bit more flattering than a higher neck. So I don't mind this, but let me know what you think. This, the rest of the outfit, like the black bra and the jeans are doing no for it. But you know, I can imagine, like I say, nude bra, pair of correct fitting jeans and a blazer over the top. I'd feel really comfortable in it. So I like it, but it's what everybody else thinks really. Okay, there's this one. This is lighter and higher necked. And I think the combination of the lighter, the really high neck, um, it's just, I think it's no from me for this one, sadly. It, oh, I just think I look a sight in it. <laughs> oh dear, I can't wait to take it off. I'm not, I'm not enjoying wearing this at all. It's just too high necked and these aren't high enough on the shoulders, I think. So even if I bought a smaller size, it's not still going to be up here, right up on my neck. So sadly no on this one as well. So this is the last t-shirt. I put it on with a pair of black leggings, which is probably how I'd wear it, you know. Um, I quite like the design of it. I'm just, you know, the design of the actual t-shirt. I'm just not sure about the colour. I'm hoping this looks okay because I actually think these the design of this t-shirt is so nice. It's got enough, you can pull it up because it's elastic around the bottom. You can pull it up and have as much over it as you like, you know, or you could wear it longer. I'd sort of go for a mid place somewhere like there and just have it sort of slightly bunched over. But I don't mind it. I could see me wearing this with like a longer um jacket so that it covers my bum um but yeah just like maybe i've got like a black coat jacket with a waterfall color i could see me what dressing it up with this you know with that on top of these and i don't mind it at all a pair of chunky boots or or even some sandals it's incredibly comfortable not the most stylish thing I've ever had in my life, but actually as a basic t-shirt, quite like it. I like this tie detail, elastic -y bottom effect. So I'm happy with that one. So that's all my clothes from Georgia Astor. It's been a mixed lot, but I've liked some of them. Hiya, so I'll tell you what I think about these sort of clothes that I've got. This pair of jeans is a no from me. It, it just, because it's a mid-rise, they felt too tight. It felt like it were underlining my tummy. So I'm a, sadly, for all they're only £10, that's a no, because I quite like the legs on them as well. It's a bit of a shame, really. If they did these in an eye rise I might go for them. I'll have a look, see if they do. This pair, I actually surprisingly, I, I, I like these surprisingly much you know i don't mind them at all usually i tend to go for skinny jeans just because my legs are my thinnest bit i tend to be like an egg on legs really so i don't tend to make my legs wider than they normally are but because they're not so overly wide on my legs i don't think they were bad but i'll wait to see what everybody else says i'm gonna put my gigs on i always forget there i can see it again <laughs> so i didn't mind these at all but let me know what you think won't you please because i don't want to go out looking like a fool you know i just want to look okay this top i absolutely love this top i'm keeping it for four quid that'll be fine it's staying that one i know it's a maternity top i don't care even if i'm wearing it in house i'm still gonna keep that I like this camisole with something over the top. I thought this were all right. I like that it had the nice detail at the top, you know, so it didn't look, um, I had not hidden all the detail under a blazer. So I quite like that one. And I also quite like this one, not maybe as much as the other, but I don't mind it. And for seven pound, I think it's a bargain. And that just is a bit different to some of the other ones I've got. So I may keep that one, maybe. But I haven't seen footage and I'll wait to see what everybody says. 
This one, pink top with the frills, is an absolute no from me, I think. I just didn't feel comfortable in it. I felt a bit like twee. Uh, yeah, I didn't like that one. And I like this even less. I just wish it wasn't quite so high neck and I wish these sleeves were higher up. If I'd bought it in a smaller size, you see, that would have brought the sleeves up, but then it probably would have been clinging around my tummy and then the neck's still a bit high. So I think I might be saying adios to that one. That might go back. I just didn't think that did anything for me. I quite like this little t-shirt though. Didn't mind this at all. Thought this were quite nice. And for £6, it's a good bargain. I might have a look to see if they've got this, you know, what the other designs were for this. Because I quite like the way that you could ruche it up or leave it down, depending on what trousers you're wearing, really. So I didn't mind that one at all. And this silky black one, I think, so no. I just felt like I like my shoulders were down here. You know, I didn't feel like that I had any shoulder definition at all. It just sort of drooped off there. And if it were not, if this detail had been down the front, I'd have put some over the top. But because all the detail is round the the sleeve, if I put some over the top, it covers every bit of detail about it. So what you're left with is a basic black top. So and for all, it's only ten pound. I've got plenty of basic black tops, so I don't really need another one. So that's all my clothes from Georgia Asta. I think some of them were quite nice. You know, I didn't mind some of them at all. Um, and I'll definitely keep an eye out for some high-waisted straight leg jeans from now, next time I'm in. Because I actually really like the legs on those jeans. It was just a shame they weren't higher-waisted. But that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my contact details in the description box in case you want to contact me for any reason. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!